Okay, as you can see, this is the HNC in electrical and electronic engineering, a very popular program. Uh, I'm going to speak briefly about the units themselves, uh, which order to take the units, preferred order, and I'm going to give you some study tips as well for this program. Okay, so let's dive straight in. Let's have a look at the units. All the HNC engineering programs have four mandatory units, okay? Design, maths, science, and project. So everybody needs those, so they're called mandatory core units. So it doesn't matter which program you're on, whether you're on manufacturing, electrical, mechanical, operations, general engineering, you still have to navigate through these four modules. They're the Edexcel rules. Now we have something additional called mandatory specialist units over here. So depending on which route you take, you may be thinking about this particular route, or okay, already maybe you're already on the route. And so you have to do this unit 19, electrical and electronic principles, um, which is really fundamental uh, to this particular specialism um, and route for engineers. Okay, you have some options. Uh, you've got four mandatory, you've got one mandatory specialist, there's five. So you have three options to choose from, and we have a whole menu of 20 plus level four options for you to choose from at Unicourse. Okay? Let's have a look at the preferred route through these particular modules. So where do we start? Well, we want you to start on engineering maths give you that fundamental knowledge that you need. Um, and then we'd like you to jump into electrical electronic principles, that's that specialist mandatory unit that I spoke about uh, a few seconds ago. Okay? At that point you will then have three modules under your belt and then we're looking at hitting three level four options, one after the other. Don't think about what the options might be at the start of the program. Navigate through these three modules first, then start having to think about the options which you prefer, okay? So go through that lot. Then you've achieved six. Then finally, you hit project, okay? That's the preferred order from top down. Some study tips for you, okay? The six areas we wish to talk about. Um, the workbooks. So we do recommend that you read through the workbooks. Don't miss bits out. They're, they're written in this way for a reason. And especially take note to the worked examples because you'll find the worked examples uh, do reflect quite often what you may find roughly on the assignment questions. Okay, so there's a really strong tip for you. Uh, the modules. Um, just stick to one module at a time, okay? Don't be doing one module maths and then doing another one digital principles or whatever. Don't mix them all up. Uh, you, you will achieve faster and better um, if you stick with one module at a time, believe me. Okay, let's have a look at assignments now. Only submit one assignment at a time, okay? Don't be submitting three maths assignments all at once because you think you're really good at maths. Maybe you are, but you may be making mistakes in the first assignment, which then carry on in the second assignment because you didn't wait to be um, assessed and informed and advised that there were little errors in your first assignment, which are quite generic, and you were using them throughout all three, but you didn't know at the time. So, for example, um, you might be having your calculator in the wrong mode for certain calculations. So that's really fundamental engineering basic errors um, that, that we need to try to avoid. Okay, so that's the many reasons why you should only submit one assignment at a time, please. Okay, the format. <coughs> um, for the assignments, um, well, you, you, you're advised. Um, in great detail what the format should be, but I do advise you, especially for maths and science units, that you handwrite the um, particular assignments, all of them, 
um, because you basically got some points whereby you want to scribble in a margin or produce a little diagram or two or maybe rub one out and do another one that's fine as long as it's not <laughs> as long as it's neat-ish stuff it's fine and readable we're, we're happy okay um, but handwriting these particular types of assignments does give you the opportunity to show your thinking your methodology and the way that you've attacked the solution step by step um, and it also gives the assessor the opportunity to think well he or she got the answer wrong at the end but it was a really good method used and it was just some calculation error which spoilt the final answer okay so please if possible handwrite the maths and science units okay drafts well I'm afraid we do not accept drafts we like a playing field most people will not submit drafts to us normally we get five percent of people who ask can I show you this assignment is it a distinction shall I submit it I'm afraid we can't allow that to happen um, we will give you general guidance of course if there's some principle that you're unsure of then please come to us and ask us for clarification on what, what whatever that principle may be and we'll do our best seven days a week I may add um, to advise you and help you as much as we can okay finally if you are rusty on maths and many of us are or some used to be good at maths and haven't done it for many years well we do have well apparently a really popular maths bridging course um, which is available on our website um, to enroll on and we do have a syllabus on there as well so have a look through the maths bridging course syllabus on the website and if you feel that some of the topic areas there are going to be unfamiliar to you then perhaps you'd like to sign up for our bridging maths course first before you then um, apply for the HNC okay and that's pretty much what I need to say at this stage so if you're going to be um, a continuing student with us then we'll speak many more times and many more videos but at this point here's your introduction to electrical electronic engineering HNC thank you